Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Wes and this is my EV tips and reviews channel called It's Electric. Today I have a very special treat for you and for myself as I happen to stumble upon around a dozen or so of the initial manufacturing validation model Ys coming out of the Giga Texas factory right here in Austin, Texas. We're gonna take a look at some of the units that came out at the beginning of April and some of the units that just rolled off the line last week. And I'll show you the differences in how Tesla has begun to really dial in the manufacturing process for the Model Y here at Giga Texas. And I'll show you some of the differences that I found between those made in Fremont and those made here in Austin. And if you're lucky, I might just be able to get underneath one of these Model Ys and show you what the new structural battery pack looks like from the outside. Before we walk around those Model Ys, I do wanna let you know about a few videos that are coming up. First, I'll be doing a follow-up video for my Tesla Model S build quality issues. I finally got my Model S back from the Tesla Service Center and I will let you know what, if anything, they were able to correct for me under warranty. Two, I will be doing my one year, 20,000 mile review of my Volkswagen ID.4 first edition. And I'll be giving you my initial thoughts and impressions on the Rivian R1T as I got a surprise test drive in one just last month. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that content. But with that, I know everyone wants to see these Giga Texas made Model Ys. So let's jump right in and let's check them out. Okay, here we are at one of the supplemental delivery lots for the Austin, Texas delivery center. I'm surrounded by Giga Texas made Tesla Model Ys. And I'll just walk up here and show you this VIN really quick so you can see. And you can also see it up here as well. And another interesting note you'll find on this particular sticker is that it says new process right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you guys around a handful of models that are out here today and just show you how the panel gaps are looking, what the paint quality looks like, some issues that are being noted here and worked on by the team here in Austin, and just give you a general sense of how manufacturing is coming along. Since it's a little easier to see, I'm gonna start with this red Model Y right here. So the first thing we're gonna note is that the headlights on the Texas made Model Y so far are the exact same headlight units that are found on the ones in Fremont. In fact, looking at the front overall, I don't see any differences between what you find down here in Texas versus what comes out of Fremont. Looking at the front hood gap, it looks pretty good. It looks uniform, especially to the naked eye, all the way around. And on camera, I don't see any major issues. So that's looking much better than some of the Fremont made model Ys I've seen. Yeah, not seeing any major issues so far with the doors. The door handles all seem to be equally flush. Now, like I mentioned, some of them do have notes that are made, it looks like by the service center here in Austin. For example, this one says that the handle doesn't soft close. This is a quick example of something else they're working on where you can see the hatch has a little bit of gap on one side versus the other. And there's a gap right here in the front of the same vehicle that's pretty noticeable. This one is one of the older builds though from April 19th this year. So some of these out here are almost a month newer than this particular model. And the ones that are newer don't seem to have the same kind of markings, of course, as the older ones. So it looks like they are actively working on things and things are getting a lot better. Here's the latest Model Y I could find on this lot. It was made May 27, 2022. Unfortunately, it says gloss black, so I will try to stay out of the reflection and show you guys around just real quickly. I don't wanna bore you, but I do wanna show you that this is the latest Model Y build on the lot and the gaps here are perfect. The door handles and the door trim are all lining up correctly and even the tail lights back here are lining up perfectly. So things are getting really close with this particular Model Y. There's no markings on this particular vehicle, not seeing anything that they're actively working on that I can tell. So this may be a Model Y that is really close to going out to a customer. I did want to point out here really quickly, it appears that there are 20 inch and 19 inch wheels for Texas made Model Ys out here. So they are producing both wheel types or at least they are testing vehicles with both wheel types. Actually, this Model Y has some nodes on it. Check this out. It says badge X, battery BT00, body BY02, Model Y SP interesting 
Obviously that's all factory codes, but maybe it'll mean something to someone who can speak Tesla. Now, when it comes to the interior of these Model Ys, I'm not seeing anything noticeable to the naked eye, at least from outside the vehicle. The inside looks exactly the same as the Fremont made cars. Just showing you guys the interior from the other side of the vehicle in case you might spot something that looks different at all. And here's the Austin made Model Y front wheel well, just to give you guys an idea of how similar it looks to the other one. Now, if you notice any differences here between the Austin made Model Y and the Fremont made Model Y, let me know down in the comments below. Everything looks to be basically the exact same. This suspension on the Fremont made Tesla Model Y looks exactly the same as the Austin made Model Y. All right, for this last part, I'm gonna try to show you underneath the vehicle and this is gonna be really tough to do, but I don't see so for reference, this is underneath a Fremont made Model Y, and I apologize, it's not going to be the best video representation, but I'm out here laying underneath the car, my, the best of my ability. Now we're underneath the Austin made Model Y with the structural battery pack, and you can clearly see that this part right here is different. And as we go back, that looks much different than the welds and things that you were seeing on the other battery pack for the Fremont made. So this piece right here is how they are basically securing in the structural battery pack into this vehicle. Pretty neat. There are a couple of quick notes I'd like to make. First of all, all of these Model Ys from Austin have a dual motor badge on the back of them. Second, looking at this label that I showed you earlier, it says Model Y SP. Could that mean Model Y Standard Range Plus? Is that a quick abbreviation? Let me know in the comments below. Looking around, I have to say that the majority of the vehicles that you see in this lot are from late April to the beginning of May. And as you look at the vehicles that were made at the beginning or middle of April, you'll see they have a few more issues noted versus the ones that were made at the beginning of May or towards the end of May, those Model Ys have very little, if any, notes on them. So if we can use the build quality changes from the beginning of May to the end of May, for example, it seems like Tesla is getting very close to having a consumer-ready Giga Texas-made Model Y. This is all extremely exciting, and I can't wait to see what the structural battery pack does for weight savings, driving dynamics, and hopefully, reduction in cost for customers in the future. I'll try to bring you more Giga Texas Model Y content in the future as Tesla continues to improve on these designs and starts making them customer ready. So please consider subscribing if you're interested in that kind of content or anything else I've mentioned in this video. And if you liked anything you saw in this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up down below and giving this video a like. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.